Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Will It Lube? And so in this video, I'm going to be putting honey in a 3x3 to see if it will lube it, or just how it will affect its overall performance. And I'm just going to say, I'm scared. But really quick before I start, I'm going to be giving a quick overview of this cube so you understand what the cube is like before the lube. So this is the Cyclone Boys Feiwu 3x3, and it is very loud, clacky, and blocky turning. It catches quite a bit during solves, and it probably has something to do with this lack of quality corner cutting. And overall, this cube is just really unpleasant to turn. So now I'm going to do a quick average of 5 on this cube before I apply the lube so that I have something to compare my end results to. Alright guys, so that was a 13.79 average of 5, which is worse than what I normally average on 3x3, but that's most likely due to the fact that I was using a really bad and unlooped cube. So what do you say we just add in this honey and see the effects it has on this 3x3? Alright, let's just get these pieces out of the way. And let's add the honey. Alright, so I am a bit nervous because I have seen this video on YouTube, and yeah, you'll just have to wait to see the results. Oh gosh, that's slow. Oh yeah, I think that's enough. That is a lot. Ooh, oh gosh, this is gonna be fun. All right, so now I'm just gonna break this cube in and give some first turns. Oh gosh, oh no. Okay, so right away, it's extremely sluggish and slow. It's very, very gummy and sticky. I mean, it quieted down a little but you hear that it's like super sticky double turns doesn't it barely just does a turn oh my gosh it's insanely slow and sluggish corner cutting I mean it is a little bit better because there's not as much friction on the pieces but I'm just gonna let this sit and then give my final thoughts all right so now that I left this cube sit a bit I'm gonna go more in depth on what this cube feels like so right away you notice it is extremely slow turning it doesn't even do a whole turn whenever you try to double flick. It's corner cutting is a little bit better than it was before, but it is super slow and sluggish and it just sounds insanely sticky. Hear that? That is just really bad. It has sort of a ticking sound because of the stickiness. And the pieces just catch a lot now. They come apart super just grossly and easily. And it is just extremely sluggish and a bad, it's just really bad to turn. Now I just wanted to note that there is no sign of the lube on the outside of the pieces, so that's a good thing. And just look at the inside of the pieces, see it's all shining in there? It is super, super slow and sticky. This is gonna be really bad. But I mean, I can't really say how much this cube has really changed until I do an average of five, so let's do this. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Super slow and sticky. This has got to be the worst lube. Like, I'm literally pushing it as hard as I can. Oh my gosh, this cube just does not want to budge. Although it does help with look ahead now that I'm turning a lot slower. I mean, it smells really good too, so that's a plus. Do you hear that noise though? This is awful.
Guys, this cube is just getting worse and worse as I play with it. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can tell, but this is just really bad. Gosh. Alright guys, so that's a 27.26 average of 5, which is by far the worst average in this whole series. And this cube is really, really bad. Oh yeah, listen to that. Alright, anyway, now onto my recommendations. So you can't already tell from 1 to 10 this is already a straight up one no doubt about it and this is probably the worst lube that I will ever use on this channel it's definitely the worst that I have used this is just so bad I, I can't even put it into words that was for my rating of this lube but if you want my actual recommendations no absolutely not do not do this to your cube it is murder it is slaughter. I'm lost for words. Alright guys, so that's going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining. And with that said, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel as well as turn off all notifications so you don't miss out on any cool new videos on my channel in the future. Also, share this video with everyone you know and comment down below what other substance I should put in this 3x3 to destroy it in the future. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye. What have I done? This won't even come apart. Mmm, tasty.